This is Shropshire, at just under 3,500 square kilometres, it's the 13th largest county in England. With only 486,000 people living in it, it ranks 42nd out of 48 regarding population. This subsequently means that Shropshire is a very rural county, with most of the population living within Telford or Shrewsbury, the two largest towns. The Shropshire has several features that dominate its landscape. First one I want to introduce you to is the River Seven. It cuts the county almost in half, coming out of the Welsh Hills just south of Oswestry, Street and making its way in a roughly south-easterly direction to leave the county just south of Bridge North before we get to Kidderminster. The southern half of the county is dominated by the Shropshire Hills area of outstanding natural beauty and it covers close to a quarter of the whole area of the county. It's dominated by hills such as Wenlock Edge, Kekaradoc, Long Mind, Brown Clee and the Reekin, which is the one behind me over there. The Shropshire Hills is home to upland wildlife such as red grouse and feral ponies, skylarks. There's also a lot of upland farming, particularly dominated by sheep, as it is in the UK. For the northern half of the county, you find this vast open plain stretching all the way to the River Mersey. And this area is home to a much less varied landscape, it's been predominantly flat, with areas of marsh and mosses and moor that are known locally. And these themselves provide a homeland for waterfowl, particularly during the winter months. The Shropshire's landscape is very, very varied, and a lot of this is down to the geology of Shropshire. And in this video series, what I want to do is explore the geology of Shropshire, explore those landscapes. We're going to start off in the more modern era, looking at the human impact. We're going to slowly work, make our way back through time as we explore Shropshire's 700 million year old geological past. 